Hello, fellow people of the earth. I am Dairy50 from Moonton Craft Productions, and today we're working on Imv backup again. Um, so t this episode, I mean, I haven't really got this planned out completely this episode, but I kind of have a general idea of what we'll be doing, and uh, I mean, we don't really need to plan plan things out. Usually, we just when you're coding, you usually just kind of have a general idea of the whole plugin, and then you work from there. But um, anyway, this episode I was hoping to create the class that would handle any uh, player data files. So just create a class, call it player data, and this is gonna handle like kind of like the config except for every single player. So um, what we're gonna do is first of all import the two types of uh, the two types we need, which is private uh, YML YAML configuration config, or actually we'll just call it player data. And then we have to import YML configuration and then we'll do private <coughs> sorry, private file player data file. Why not? And then we'll import file from Java IO. Alright. So uh hmm. So, uh, well, as I said again, I haven't got this completely planned out, but that's just do public. Let's create the uh, constructor first, uh, and we'll um, say that this dot. Hmm. Whoop, sorry, I don't even know what happened there. Um, so that's it. It calls a file, and we'll call that PR player data file. And then this dot config or no this dot this time it's player data. Um, I usually work with configs when I'm working on with this. So it goes new and then we'll do IML configuration. Oh, if I can spell. Nah. All right, and then this dot player data file equals player data file which is what we called here so that's the constructor now I can do public boolean load like we did for the normal config and in here uh, we'll, it will have a try statement but right now we're going to do if um, and we'll do player data file dot exists um, and this is going to be the same exact thing we were doing before for the config file um, Except of course with some changes. So we'll do create new file, and then we want to create a, uh, a uh, load defaults section for this too. Um, I'm just gonna create that method down there, um, and then we'll close that off, and then config dot. Or, um, this is really only player data dot load. And then player data file. No. Right. Um, and then we have to do return true if that's the case. Why is that there? We have to surround this whole thing with a try catch. Actually, the whole whole thing. So we'll do try there. And then, um, I right, see we got the defaults. It's kind of just messed up my code a bit. And then after this, close the if statement. Wait, no, this is supposed to be outside the if statement. Ah, never do automatic stubs. <laughs> so if statement closes, and then we'll do the player data return true. Just tap that in. And then we'll add the catch here. So catch, and we're catching exception. Um, and we'll do messenger dot severe uh, player data file for player, and I'll add the player name. Um, I 
I think I think for the player data file is gonna be the name of the player name. So I'm just gonna do file for player and then we'll do plus player data file dot mm, is there like a name thing? Get name, yeah, okay. <clears throat> Failed to load. Error returned. And then we do the string new line thing and then e dot get message, which gets the message for the exception. So that's that's good, and then of course you want to return false if there's an exception. Because that means it did not load. That's why the load is a boolean. And we want to create our public boolean save, which is also a boolean because it can also not work. I'm going to do conf or really player data dot save and the file name, which is player data file. Um, and that's that. Then we'll do catch once again and then exception e and messenger dot severe. Um, kind of copy this. Except we'll change it to fail to load. Fail to save, I mean. And then we'll put return true down here. Alright, the only reason we want to have the try statement here is because it requires it. Um, so yeah, now for get defaults, this is where we're going to put... Whenever a player data file is loaded, we want to have all the defaults set up. So, um, of course you want the basic defaults like... Um, let's just do... Add default. Um, we'll do player dot name, and then we'll do uh, player data file dot get name for that. Or hmm, you know what? I'm gonna. Huh. I'm gonna create a private string player name and I'm gonna do file player data file and then string player name and then this dot player name is equal to player name alright and then right here we can add those modifiers so player name and player name and player name all right player data dot add default we'll do well i guess we don't really need anything else for now we'll, we'll probably come back to this of course um so what we want to happen is on a player login, we want to check if there's a player data file for that player, and yeah, I know we'll, we'll see where that goes. So let's open our listener script, and this is the on player join. And as you can see, I added a to do statement to check for player data file. So let's do. Hmm, let me just think for a second, and I'll unpause. All right, that's just. I'm just gonna wing it. So file, and then we'll do directory equals this dot get or mm, this isn't the plugin class isn't it uh, player data dot hmm. you know what maybe I'll have I'll create a in the main config here the main script I'll create a public static void save or interact or <laughs> player data load for now I'll probably change the name of that later and this will ask for a string player name we'll do player p and is player not imported? wow um, and we'll do that's good alright 
So we'll do just down here we'll do player we'll do inv backup dot oh I put this in the player data class and we'll copy this somewhere else. Copy this to the main class. Right down there. And that's good. So when this is called, we want it to kind of do the same thing we did up here. Um, you just copy and paste that. So this dot get data folder folder. Um, this is not going to work in a static void. Hmm. Maybe we'll create a file or private static file dir equals this dot get data folder. You can do that as static. <laughs> Alright, so we'll do. So hmm. this is not gonna work for me, isn't it? <laughs> Maybe we can just do just do a string thing, so um, equals in backup. I'm actually gonna figure out a way to do this on the back. So I think this will work. <laughs> so what I did is I did bucket dot get plugin manager dot get plugin inv backup dot get data folder plus and then player data at the end. I think that will work. I'm not entirely sure. We will see for ourselves when we test this out. Uh, first thing I want to do is I uh, forgot if we let me just open the ah, ah. let me open the plugin that way out quickly. Okay, it's a capital B. All right, so that should work. All right, so if and then we'll do the same thing we did above. If deer dot exists, uh, deer dot n k deer. So if it doesn't exist, grace direct um, file. File will do the same thing we did above. And then we want this to be player name. Um, and then we'll do Layer data equals new hmm. player data. How are we gonna do this? Player data player data equals new player data. Oh, file string, so we need the player name. Alright, so, and then if player data dot load this dot or pro new illegal state exception. So, um, just thinking here. So this creates a, this creates a private just this void thing. Um, I'm just trying to wonder right now how we're going to access this later. It is very interesting. I'm going to have to pause the video and think about this for a while. Alright, so for some reason when I uh, unpaused again, 
my audio cut out, so right now this is um, just, I'm voicing this over. But pretty much I created a hash map with uh, the saves of player and the file. As you can see, it's static at the top there. Then I added to the element down there um, that the L statement, if it did load correctly. And here we add, we, we add something to the hash map. And we add the player, uh, the player from like the bucket player type and the file. Then I just tried testing it out, as we can see here. And uh, I had an error, which was because of a YML problem. I figured it out. Uh, so if we, uh, I'm still voicing this over very quick. So yeah, I, missed, I just missed the semicolon right there. <laughs> All right, so let me save that, and I reloaded the server. And uh, I wanted to see if you the debug message was given. So I went back to the player data file, and we added an info message when the uh, file was created. Um, Right there, I got the player name, and then as you can see when it started, it said that the player data file was loaded for player name. Um, anyway, yeah, thank you for watching. Next episode, we will work more on uh, more on that player data file and getting inventory saved. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.